Say you're building a game and you want your character to be able to jump off of walls. And that way they could jump between walls to get to a higher vantage point. If you're interested in learning how to do this, stick around because that's what I'm covering right now. Okay, so here I have a blank puppet and I just want to be able to jump between these two walls and also maybe just be able to jump off the wall. Currently you can only jump once and we're unable to jump between, so let's figure out how we can do that. I'll go into the controller logic here, and I'm going to get out a microchip, and we'll use this for the logic. Within here, we're gonna wanna take in the jump button, so it's currently assigned to cross, I'll just use that. So in order to um, mimic a jump, we'll just use a force applier, which I will set to directional, and make sure to Pull that in the upwards direction. I'll increase the strength and change this value to something like eight meters per second. And let's go ahead and move this underneath the puppet. So I'll press L1 triangle to change the grid to the puppets and move it right under the feet. Cool. And so let's see how this looks just by default. I'll go ahead and get out a signal manipulator and I'll put this on a pulse, and we can see how it looks. So if I jump and then jump again, that looks relatively good. Let me see. Yeah, that looks pretty nice, I think. Now, obviously, this is not real. I was able to do it right there, but we don't want to be able to just do this wherever, right? We want to be able to jump off the wall. So to fix that, let's go ahead and get rid of this thing. We're going to need um, some conditional logic here, so I'll get out an AND gate, and the AND gate is what will power the jump. So one of these conditions is obviously going to be the jump. We're also going to need to know that we're um, touching the wall, so I'll get out an impact sensor, and I will detect the object label. And we'll just go ahead and set the label on this sculpture to object. Okay, so this way, if it's touching, then that'll be one of our conditions. Let's say we're touching and we want to use the jump button as our second condition. Let's see how this works. So here, if I press X over and over again, I can only jump once. But if I come here, then I can jump off the wall. Right? Right? So this way I can jump between, but there's the unintended side effect of being able to just fly up the wall because we're touching it, and that's not what we want. In order to prevent that from happening, we'll go ahead and use a counter. And so every time we jump, it will increase the count, and we will just set up one more condition here where if the counter is not full, then we'll allow the puppet to jump and now we can start time so the counter is currently empty so it works and if I run up to this then I can jump off the wall now it didn't reset so I can't do it again but you're able to see that we can uh, jump off the wall and this would prevent us from being able to climb it again Oops. Uh, but in order to do that we're gonna have to reset this counter so I'll get out one more knot gate. And if we're ever not touching the wall, then we can reset the counter. Now let's see how this looks. So if I try and choose it by jumping on that one wall, it doesn't work, right? But if uh, we're ever not touching the wall, then the counter resets, and that allows us to do the jump again. So let's try it again. Oop. can do it right there. Now you see there's a problem here. If you're touching the wall and you jump, it breaks everything. So in order to fix that, we'll get out a puppet interface. And let me just make a little bit more room here on the chip so we can see a little bit better. Now, we only want this to, um, we're currently increasing this if all of this is happening, right? We're touching it 
and we jump. Um, but we only want that to happen if we're not off the ground. So I'll get out one more knock gate. And inside of this output page, we have this on ground. So I'll plug that into this knock gate. And that will also be a condition for this logic. See, the counter isn't full, which is good. And if we jump, it doesn't fill it until we jump off of it, right? But this is great because now we can't spam it on the one wall, but we can spam between the two walls because every time we're not touching the wall, it resets that counter. So there we go. Super simple logic, super simple execution. Really only took a couple minutes, and now we have this awesome wall jumping feature. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials. Also, please leave any comments down below if you have any questions or if you have any other tutorials you'd like to see me cover on the channel. I'll see you next time.